If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. I think it was D'Antonio after the game yesterday said, Tom never ceases to amaze me. Uh, I know it's kind of cliche now, but five touchdowns, 400 yards in the same game, does he ever cease to amaze you? I mean, all the time. He always – what he does is, is crazy, especially at his age and the level of play that he's been able to sustain for such a long time. <laughs> It's it's unreal, and I don't think we'll ever see it again. Brady was downright surgical in the Bucks' 45 to 17 victory over the Dolphins. The 44-year-old threw for 411 yards and five touchdowns, despite apparently hurting his hand during the first half. Brady leads the NFL in touchdown passes. Um, what do you see from him so far this year? I, I see a comfort level. You know, we talked about. So many things throughout the course of the beginning of last year as he was in a new offense, in a new place, getting familiar with a lot of new guys. And then the second half of the year, it just started to click. And whether that was putting in things Tom was comfortable with or him getting comfortable with what Coach Arians um, and Byron Leftwich are doing, whatever it is, he's in a state of comfort right now. Is He can still play the game. He can still throw it. He's got all these weapons, but he's comfortable with what he's seeing. And the timing has picked up within this offense. And we're seeing the results of that. You know, it's just he hasn't missed a beat. This team hasn't missed a beat from where they were at the end of last year. And it's going to be fun to watch where this team can go this year. Rex, what impressed you the most yesterday? Uh, how about this guy named Tom Brady? Now, I get it. He's no Mac Jones. But when you throw for over 400 yards and five touchdowns, oh, by the way, zero turnovers right here. I think it's the first time he's done it in his career, which has actually been a fairly decent career. But this guy is amazing. And... It's like, we, we never give him enough credit. I don't think the guy is unreal. Hey, Mike, speaking of Tom, he had told us yesterday um, that he had suffered a thumb injury, and Coach Arian said he thought it happened early on in the game, but pretty remarkable that he was able to go out there and, and put up five touchdowns uh, despite a thumb injury with his throwing hand. Did you have any idea he was hurt? I didn't. I didn't. Um, you know, but he's a, he's, a tough, he's a tough guy, you know, obviously. Uh, one of the most durable players we've seen. So, you know, I mean, he looked, he looked normal to me, so I didn't, I didn't know he was injured. I'm going to remind you that with 4-11 left in the second quarter, Tom hit his hand on, I guess it was a helmet, mm -hmm. and, and hurt his thumb, and he was shaking his thumb, and it was right. taped. It was wrapped up after the game last night. Here it is. He just banged it on a throw to Cam Brait and hit it right on the helmet. And it was his thumb, and he shook it. I'm sure it swelled up oh, last yeah. night. And the point was he went to the media session with it taped. And he said, you know, back in my days in New England, there's no way I would ever come here with this tape because we would have kept it under wraps. Right. But he said, in my older age, I, I don't care anymore. I'll just come with it wrapped up. Right. So he did. And yet he all he did was throw three more touchdown mm -hmm. passes after that. So I'm not going to get real upset about it. I'm told Brady's going to be okay. Now, if you saw him on the sideline, he was seen icing his hand. I'm told it is a thumb injury that he probably is going to get treatment on it throughout the week. Obviously, a very fast turnaround to Thursday. But the way Brady is, which is basically he always plays regardless of almost everything, uh, I am told he is expected to be fine. So no issue. We'll be paying close attention to see how well he throws, how well he can grip the ball, and all of that. And we'll see how much he actually throws this week during what are basically glorified walkthroughs anyway. But regardless, Tom Brady is going to be, you know, okay for Thursday night. 430-something uh, yards. That's the first time he's had, what, 405 touchdowns, Skip, no interceptions, I think, in his career. I think that's the first time in his yep. career. And we know what his career has been. All-time league touchdown passes, passing yards. We, we, we know all the numbers. But, Skip, he got a little extra. Mm. You saw what he did in the fourth quarter now. He stat padded. You saw that now. I you, saw it. You, okay. Oh, as long as you know you saw it. It's he, called going for the jugular. It's called going for the MVP. <laughs> That's what it's called. Going for an extra 106 yards and two touchdowns when they were already up. Right now, I'll still leave Tampa there because of Tom Brady. Okay. Mike, that first touchdown you caught just the, over the shoulder from Tom, where does that rank in terms of just well-placed touchdown balls you've gotten from Tom Brady? <laughs> I mean, that was a really good one. It was like right in the bread basket. I mean... It's up there with one of the best ones. I want you to know that going into yesterday, the Miami Dolphins had gone 26 games straight with a takeaway. That is the NFL record streak for takeaways. Right. 26 straight games. Well, yesterday, 
<clears throat> they got none. So Brady and company broke the 26 game streak. So you got to give him some credit for that yes. because the Dolphins do take the ball away and they are proud. They play with a contagious pride. We take the ball away. Mm -hmm. But once again, what did Pro Football Focus say last week? We give Brady sort of the quarter pole. I know it's 17 games, but right. we give him our number one grade at the quarter pole because he has zero turnover worthy plays. I, I do believe when you start talking about going through the playoffs that you got to start considering that playoff, that playoff experience and, and who has played like that, who's come through in the clutch all the time. And Tom Brady has certainly all the time come through in the clutch. So, so I would have the Bucks there because of that, and you're seeing what he's doing right now with Tom Brady. Oh, my God, the way he played yesterday was incredible. The man at 144 passer rating. I don't, I don't even know how high passer ratings go, but I don't think they go much higher than 144, you know, coming off of what happened in, in New England. You, you, Tom Brady's playing well, yeah. but boy, them Cowboys right there, too. See, you, uh, you, the Bucks. I, I gotta have the Bucks up here because of Tom and his pred pedigree. We talk about favorites in the NFC. I'm gonna tell you who I got. Oh. I got Arizona. I got Tampa Bay. Matter of fact, I'll put Tampa Bay first, and then Arizona, even though Arizona's undefeated. So, would you believe that Tom Brady at 44 now has the two highest passing totals in regulation for the whole season? He's got a 432, which mm -hmm. was at the Rams in a losing effort. Right. But then yesterday was 411. So those are one, two in the pecking order of biggest passing yardage in regulation. I know Derek Carr had one in o overtime. with the overtime. Right. But it's still, I think he had like 403. So Tom still has the most passing yards. Um, um, no. Yeah, 403. I, Brady I think he to... had a little more than 432. I think he's Did got he? the most with overtime, okay. including overtime. They, they, play, they play well, Skip. Mike, we've talked about the balance between you and Chris and A.B. and how well you guys all coexist. Uh, but, like, all three of you guys are on pace for 1,000 yards. All three of you guys are on pace for 10-plus touchdowns. How cool is it to have three guys that get along and, and kind of split the wealth, share the wealth as well as you guys do? I mean, it's great, you know, obviously for, for football purposes, but just for in the locker room. I mean, you know, we all get along. You know, we have different personalities, but we all mesh well together. Um, and that's not just us three. That's the whole t our whole team. You know, we have a lot of different personalities on this team, but, you know, everybody seems to get along and, uh, you know, we understand the goal. That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. So please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day. Thanks for watching.